Okay, no coding today. I just wanted to revisit this Maker Pi. I've got myself a uh, higher resolution OLED. So let's just wire that up. This went into six and seven, I think. And let's put ground in green. And 3.3 volts was there, I think. All right, so let's try and power it up. I'm going to use a power bank. Let's try it. That's better. So startup code running light with Mario melody. So that's what that says. Now this makes more sense now. Oops, there goes the power. Right, let's plug this into not a power bank. So it's making more it's making more sense what it's doing now. And then if I press GP0, so there's a menu for each one, so do 20. That turns all the LEDs on. It's now telling you what you're doing. This is quite good then. Like I said, I could have looked in at the code previously. But I like the way it tells you what it's doing. All LEDs turns off. There's that again. Now it seems to think that the button's still pressed even though I'm carrying on. So uh, I don't know, there's probably some, probably some issue in the thing there. David Kempton, I think, told me this. So he said if we plug, I completely missed that there was an audio port on there. So you might have seen in one of my other videos, I did, um, I made these out of a kit, of course. Um, I'll link to that above. Well, they're USB powered. So I'm going to plug that in there. Hopefully that will work. And then the output of that into here. Now, apologies, this may get a bit louder. It'll go buzz anyway, so let's try. Whoa, <laughs> that's much Left. louder. Right, hey, so thanks, David. I didn't realize that sound was actually this piazza trying to say left and right, so that's interesting. So, uh, yeah, just some extra little features of that board. I also looked at these Grove sensors. They are Grove. It says Grove on the side, I just noticed. I don't know whether they don't make them anymore, but I found an OLED that was about 22 quid. And I think that's way, way too expensive for that. Maybe if these are sort of JST type connectors. You could make your own. And very easy just to wire one of these in. But uh, again, highly recommend this board. It's going to be good fun playing with it. All right, yeah, so thanks, David. I didn't realise that sound was... Yeah, shut up, shut up. Ah. So, 